Can we use new technology in tillage and multi-species to drive down the cost of inputs and increase production for graziers? I'm with Jared Roosh from ACT NRM and he's trying to find out. Jared, how are you, mate? Yeah, good. Good to see you, Tim. <laughs> now, Jared, you've got a fair bit of stuff going on. It looks like you went crazy at Bunnings, but that's not really summing it up well, is it? You've got quite a seed mix here. So tell me about this trial, mate. It's fairly scientific, isn't it? Yeah, yeah it is. We got some funding from uh, the Climate Smart Ag people in the Commonwealth Government. Yep. And, um, and we're in Canberra. And we're in Canberra. So that's the place you come to get grants. That's exactly right. And uh, ACT and NRM are pretty good at getting grants. Anyway, so what this is all about is we have um, six different farms across the ACT. Yep. And um, so we're getting a good representation across uh, across the different soil types, etc., and the and the farming um, you know situations. But um, on this particular property at Craig's place, we have four plots. They're out over here. They're out the back here. And so first plot is business as usual. That's our control. Yep. The second one is rotational grazing only. Yep. So is there any impact to the pasture from rotational grazing as opposed to set stocking? That's correct. Yep. And um, and then we're and which is using that holistic uh, grazing management principles. Yep. And uh, the third one is uh, using the soil key renovator and 18 species of uh, of of pasture species, winter active pasture species. Yep. Which we have put a biological coat onto. I was going to say these look a little bit dusty and dirty. So you've got some very interesting biological coatings going on here. Yeah, we've used both a uh, anaerobic and a aerobic uh, biological coat. Yep, and um, and we put that around there with uh, with local local product. Yes. So uh, the anaerobic, which is uh, the food to food to soil people, they've created the anaerobic um, biology, and then yep. we've also gone to cork eels, which is a uh, local composting people, and we've got an aerobic compost, and that's how we've been able to make up this blend. But so uh, plot number three is uh, multi species with the eighteen species soil key renovator. Um, with amendments. Now we've got um, we've got some amendments which are basically mineral amendments. So we're not using any uh, soluble um, NPK fertilizers. We're just working with uh, with amendments which will stimulate biology and yep. feed biology and feed the plants. Um, and then our fourth plot is rotational grazing, soil key, multi species, no amendments. So that's the that's the general gist of the the four uh, the four plots that we have here. So in each case, you're ramping up the amount that the farmer has to do and the money that they have to spend, and seeing if that money spent is actually giving them a viable return, not only for the ecology of the soil but also for the return in their hip pocket. Correct. And uh, and ultimately, what we're trying to do is to look: is there a way that we can use biology yep. to reduce the amount of inputs that are required for the farmer to be putting out? Because ultimately, in the long run, can we keep on mining inputs forever and ever? Or is there a way that we can utilise biology and move back into natural systems? Well, I think a lot of people are on to that, but it's great to see universities as well getting involved. There's a couple of universities involved with this trial as well. Yeah, we have... Um, they're, catch, they're catching on, mate. They're <laughs> catching on. <laughs> They'd be fantastic. Uh, so, of course, we've got the legendary ANU here um, yep. in the ACT that are, that are part of this as well as um, Southern Cross University. Um, so we're working, we're working closely with them and uh, trying to gain as much um, information from them as to how we would be able to develop a rigorous um, program to be able to actually make sure that the results that we get are going to be useful. So don't forget there's that one as well. It's, uh, I think there's actually there's another one around as well. Do this 50 kilo bridge. Boys, got all the voodoo juice out on this one. This must be plot four. Hang on, hang on. It's not voodoo juice. This is science, Tim. And I suppose that's the beauty of this. You guys are taking emollients that people have been using for decades and getting really good benefits from and observing great things. And now you're putting numbers around them with the universities so that people have data. 
That's right, Tim, and this is simple. This is practical. Anybody can do this. I love science. Look at that. Gold. <laughs> So Jared, Aaron, I'm really excited by what I'm seeing here. You guys are both government employees and that makes what the work that you're doing here 100% stable. The problem with a lot of these trials that are done in agriculture is they might only run for one funding cycle. You guys are going to take this through for four years and natural systems, they take time, don't they? You can't just pour the magic chemical on and watch it go boom. You've got to repair natural soil flora, you've got to repair all sorts of things that are going on, don't you? Yep, there's a transition period and it does take time. Now Aaron, on top of that, what's even more exciting is that there's been a lack of extension work that's not paid for by people that are trying to sell something in this country. Mm. You're, from what I understand, possibly the first regen agriculture extension employee in the country. That's right, Tim. Yeah, first, very, very lucky to be here. Well done, mate. We're expecting big things. Yeah, look, uh, my, my goal is to help and support farmers, and to be in this position is, yeah, uh, fantastic. So, very grateful. And we're backing it with science, Joe. That's what it's all about. Otherwise, it's not cred it's, there's no credibility. And we're constantly hearing from, uh, from different extension officers and agronomists saying there's no science in regen ag. Well, Yes, this is it. You're bringing the science to the this table. Is, well, we're contributing towards it, yeah. yeah. Good on you. If you know someone who says there's no science to regen ag and it's all hocus pocus, send them this video and get them to check out the link to the ACT NRM. They're doing lots of science in the, in the regen space. And if you like this kind of content, don't forget, hit the little subscribe button, give it a thumbs up. There's plenty more.